2021? No, I won! Hey Internet, I'm Steve, and welcome to Raffo. With everything else crazy happening in the world, 2021 was a pretty great time to be a Brando Fando. Coming off the high of 2020's Rhythm of War, we still got a significant amount of releases and events. Lux, the new Reckoner's novel, the first Dark One graphic novel, plus three Skyward novellas and the third Skyward book. But that's now all in the past. What does Brandon have in store for the future? The state of the Sanderson. First, we're gonna have a new Legion story! Death and Faxes will be an audio original released by Mainframe, Brandon's audiobook company, due in June. Later in the fall will come the second installment of the Dark One story, Dark One Forgotten, co-written with Dan Wells and likely a full cast audio production. The Wheel of Time TV show is going really well, though Brandon's involvement with that hasn't necessarily been huge. However, he's been working on a Mistborn film treatment, and apparently he feels very good about the motion on this. And there's going to be a video game of some kind released next year that had Brandon's involvement. Likely not with CD Projekt Red, creators of The Witcher and Cyberpunk games, though Brandon has expressed interest in working with them before. Dragonsteel Books is the new face of the Brandon Sanderson store. Currently, they have the Way of Kings leatherbound swag, as well as a full restock of all of their leatherbounds, so check it out. Fall 2022 is the 10 year anniversary of Alloy of Law, so we will be releasing Alloy of Law and Shadows of Self in leatherbound as a bundle for $150. Later printings will be each individual for $100 each. Dragonsteel Books is also going to probably do swag bundles for future releases. We'll likely get some swaggy bundles for the Skyward Flight novella collection, Alcatraz 6, The Lost Metal, and the latter will probably coincide with another release party slash minicon next year. Lots of languages now have books, particularly German and French. There are now 35 different languages that have Sanderson published, with over 21 million copies sold. The Kaladin album art book bundles are now available. I picked one up at Minicon, and it's gorgeous. The expansion to the Nauvoo Games Reckoners board game has been produced, though not yet delivered due to worldwide shipping delays. Their Kickstarter says they're open for late pledges, but when I clicked it, it said the project is closed, so... I don't know. Other new things coming up, King's Wild Mistborn playing cards are available for pre-order, shooting for a spring 2022 release. Brotherwise Games is producing Stormlight Miniatures, over 20 characters in high-quality, official, canonical design. They should be coming in a Kickstarter summer of next year. Speaking of next year, Dragonsteel very kindly put out basically a full schedule of what's coming out. There are only two months that don't have some sort of release. December 28th was the release of Evershore, the third Skyward novella in ebook and audio. In January, the original, which was previously an audio exclusive, will come out as an ebook. In February, the Dawn Shard audiobook, hopefully, will be out. April will bring the Skyward Flight hardcover collection, all three Skyward novellas bound together. May, Alcatraz 1 re-release in paperback with new cover art. June will get the new Legion audio story, Death and Faxes, as well as Alcatraz 2 in paperback. July, the Texas Reckoners audiobook Lux will be released as an ebook and Alcatraz 3 paperback. August will have the Alcatraz 4 re-release. In September, Alcatraz 6, Bastille vs. the Evil Librarians will be coming out in hardcover, ebook, and audio, and the Alcatraz 5 paperback release. In October comes Dark One Forgotten, the audio exclusive. And the year should wrap up big with The Lost Metal, Wax and Wayne 4, release in November. 2022 is shaping up to be a pretty good year for Fandom Sanderson. Coming 2023, Skyward 4 will be released in the spring or summer, and then finally, Stormlight 5 in the fall. And somewhere in the midst of all of that will be, hopefully, the White Sand graphic novel Omnibus. 2021 for me was actually pretty good. I got my Way of Kings Leatherbounds on my birthday. I was going to post an unboxing of them, but my computer died. Still trying to reconstruct it. Along with the gorgeous coin displays from Dragon Woodshop. I ran a half marathon dressed as Kaladin. Bridge runs suck. Hung out with Team Dragonsteel at Salt Lake Comic Con, Fan X, and the first ever Dragonsteel Minicon. Hopefully I'll be able to host some panels on the next one. And for the first time ever, I got both my secret Sazed gifts. In terms of content release, this was one of my most productive years, with hemallergy, compounding, and the reading order videos being really well received. And 2022 should be significantly better. With my kids getting a little older, I'm able to get more time to work on these videos, so I should be able to be a little bit more active in posting. Hopefully. I got my next 
dozen videos planned already, so I just need to get them done. The first Cosmere Connections video should be coming soon, which will basically detail how everything that isn't Stormlight is all connected. Subscribe. I wouldn't be able to do this without the support of the rest of the fandom, so thank you specifically to my Patreon supporters, Doug, you're the best, and everyone else on my Discord. Let's make 2022 amazing, and read and find out!